This is one of my favorite quotes. I've tried to figure out who this guy is. I can't really, it's interesting. I can't really, you get these quotes in life sometimes, you know, and uh, you can't always, you know, sometimes you learn things about the people and you think, wow, now I don't like the quote as good, but listen to what this says. A true sinistral commotion is directly proportionate, proportionate to how deeply the lie was believed. When a well-packaged web of lies has been sold gradually to masses over generations, the truth seems utterly preposterous in the speaker of Raven Lunacek. Tick. Continue to do the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is insanity. It doesn't make any sense, but that's what we keep doing in America. Now we're fighting over who should pay for it. See, we're not having a health care debate over how to make people healthier. We're having a health care debate over who should pay for it. The issue is if people weren't sick and subluxated, then we wouldn't need to have a health care debate in the first place. The most important thing to do before any journey of discovery is to choose what we want to discover. I think we can all agree that we all want to discover and experience health, happiness, and vitality. Is that true? I've never met a person that didn't want to be healthy, happy, and have a vital life. Feel like they're contributing to their economy, whether it's your home economy or your social economy or your network of people that you interact with. We all have a want to feel like we're plugged in and we're doing something good for the world. And that's the best part about working in a chiropractic office, right? You get to show up every day and know you're doing something to make the world a better place than it was when you, when you went to bed the night before. But can you think of anything in life that's more important than how physically, emotionally, and spiritually healthy we are? It, it, let's look at it this way. We all know things that we probably could have done in the last week that would have made us healthier, right? I mean, there's all things you said, you know what, I could have done this, this, and this, and it could have made me healthier, right? And we all know things that we probably could have avoided doing that would have made us less sick, right? I did this, this, and this, that uh, if I'd avoided doing that, it would have made me healthier. So why do we do that? The reason why we do it is because the amount it matters. See, when something really matters, you change, don't you? Let me give you an example. I have a donut, right? And I say, hey, who wants a donut? Everybody raises their hand. Then I put a little arsenic in the donut, and I said, who wants a donut? Nobody raises their hand, right? What's different? The amount that it matters, right? All of a sudden, this thing's life-threatening, and it's going to kill you. The reality is, the donut is always like, already life-threatening. You know, it's the most cancer-causing food in the planet, is a donut. But we chow them down every day, and then we stand up and say, we want cancer to go away. Can't somebody make a drug to fix cancer? Now, I'm not here to give you a nutrition talk because I'm, I'm a chiropractor, not a nutritionist. My reality is I want you to kind of change your paradigm of how we think about things. What we do is have to change the amount that things matter in our mind. We ought to be able to do it. Look, if we could change the amount it matters to a patient on whether or not they got adjusted or not, would they just do it? 